Okay, just wanted to give you a kind of a where I'm at and what I've done video. So uh, here's watch it, and uh, of course the now it's the badass truck with the uh, badass Nerf cannon on top. Um, here's just a general overview of where I'm at. Uh, as you see, I'm doing my foam covering to prepare for uh, my glass coat. Uh, there's several other things I've done since the last video. Uh, for one, I've modified the, uh, the rear shock so it's not nearly as bouncy as it was. Uh, originally I had a, uh, a scooter shock mounted down in here and it just wasn't enough to absorb the, the, the shock that was going on there. Just, so it just turned out really bouncy. So I uh, upgraded to this guy. I managed to squeeze it in there and it works out pretty well uh, where it's at right now. Uh, also, instead of doing a uh, chain mechanism here, I did a lever arm system for my, uh, my uh, gun uh, tilt mechanism. So that uh, works out a lot better. Also done some programming so it doesn't hit the roof all the time. You might need to trim that out some. Um, of course, the 500 watt upgrade on the motor. I'm um, using a uh, quarter inch foam to, to, to foam this thing up. Um, to so that I'll get a nice shape to my body and uh, get a nice good glass coat on there and uh, make it nice and hard so should it have any impacts it won't really affect it too much especially with the EMT piping on the inside it'll bend quite easily uh, there's the camera didn't plan on it but uh, it seemed to be a nice ad uh, feature ad to this so I uh, because I have uh, some uh, eye goggles that I can use to uh, pretty much drive this thing remotely and have a driver's point of view of this thing. Uh, as you can see, it's on its own servo, so that uh, I'll get that moving in a second there. I got it on right now. Um, the wiring is a lot cleaner than what it was, so now he has an actual hood, and we'll look under there and see all the electronics. Um, that's still dust from the sanding that I've done on the foam. didn't quite go all the way but uh, here's the main speed control the speed control for the steering is back here uh, my bus bar for my high voltage in and out um, I have relays to turn on the voltage for the um, for the speed control so which is controlled here so I can uh, so when the system gets a good signal it'll turn these on but should I have any problems then it'll turn off automatically so if there's a no signal situation it'll turn off instead of um, going out of control uh, here's my relay buses for my different functions it's connected directly to my main processor so what happens is uh, this processor obviously controls the relays and these relays control different functions uh, of course of the gun and uh, uh, the pump down in there and turn it on different power sources um, for the entire system so so I can conserve power that way and, and, and not have things on that I don't need to have on at the time uh, there's the base micro um, servo controller it's a, a nice unit to use to uh, for this guy um, of course I thought about upgrading to Arduino but uh, works so far I'm still learning Arduino uh, here's my charger bus for my uh, voltage system so I have my RC voltage my motor voltage and uh, voltage for the pump uh, it's considering changing out to for the a, 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 a DC to DC converter so I can get 12 volts to my pump from the main batteries instead of carry the extra weight of an extra battery in there so that'll run my pump uh, I saw some on sale for a good price, so I might pick those up. Uh, well, that's the stuff under the hood, and of course, there's a 5 volt uh, uh, converter. I forgot to point that out. Uh, that's under the hood, basically. And when I glass this up, this will actually be a hood that I can raise and, and work on this thing, of course. And I will be putting a plexiglass across here, uh, of course, to. And also, I'll be adding windows on the side. This thing, this camera can turn about 180 on here. Uh, under under the hood, I 
mentioned before that there was a rack and pinion steering system so uh, so there's the gearhead motor that runs my rack and pinion and it makes for a good strong steady system that uh, that is not really prone to breakage on this guy of course I could have done a better job on the suspension and that's left to upgrades later uh, as I learn different techniques uh, along with that and uh, let's see. So let me uh, work a couple of the functions for you up close. So as you can see, there's the camera. As I pan it, let me turn on the system. You'll actually hear. You'll see the. Uh, as I turn on my remote, there's a three-second delay, and that kicks on my system. It turns on the main voltage. reason why I went with a microprocessor system because there's a lot of things that you can't do with a regular remote as far as feedback so I know where my batteries are at and where my uh, tank pressure is at and everything so here's the camera as you can see nice smooth motion there basically I can also with this remote I can also program a uh, accelerometer to keep track of my head so I can use it to actually turn my head and my goggles and it'll actually turn the camera which would probably be a really neat feature uh, of course I forgot to point out the uh, radios that I'm using so here's my XB 900 megahertz uh, radio module it communicates with the remote I'm also using a uh, uh, 5.8 video transmitter I've got to figure out a better way to do the switching for that because I have two cameras on this guy. So there's the uh, driving camera and then there's the uh, targeting camera, which is a uh, small security camera that I was using. But uh, it's so blurry and it's old, so I'll probably be changing that out. <clears throat> but uh, let me uh, turn on the pan tilt system for you, I mean the uh, gun system for you. See that snaps right down. Uh, so the components of the gun include a uh, cylinder to push the dart into the breech chamber. Um, of course, the main charging chamber for uh, for pressurizing. It's basically an air gun. Everybody knows the components of that garden um, garden valve, and actually a pressure sensor. Um, there so I can uh, shoot at different pressure so if I'm playing with the kids I won't hurt them and then of course the main tank a one gallon uh, tank with a uh, pressure sensor so I can so the system can pump it to a specific pressure and turn the pump off at any given time and then of course my uh, relays to control the cylinder and how much pressure goes into the uh, tank to the uh, into the shooting tank so and you can see this thing has a pretty good range of motion from the last upgrade so you can see it turns a full 180 degrees There's also two modes of uh, moving my uh, my cannon. Sorry about that. There's two modes of moving this thing around. So forgive me. I'm trying to hold the remote and shoot this thing at the same time. So here it is. Uh, obviously, that's the feedback mode. So wherever I hold the stick, that's where it stays. I mean, that's where it is. Then there's feedback loop off, so I can actually move it to certain degrees so as I so basically that's position hold and of course these are PS1 uh, PS2 sticks so if I just tap the button again it snaps back into the other mode so that's the good thing about having a microprocessor in place over uh, a regular control system, a uh, regular RC system, is you can program different modes of operation and 
just get it the way the way you want to work the way you want so this is a basic overview of where I'm at and where I'm going um, as you can see you have uh, two more panels foam panels to add a little bit more shaping to go before I go to glass um, that's uh, basically it so while it's on I'll give you a quick test drive again see it roll over some rocks and stuff that 500 watt motor really makes a difference and here we go oops there goes the hood <laughs> See a turn like that the way it was before would have flipped it right over. Happy with what I've done. Thank you for watching.